In this video, we'll be dealing with pain on this point of the wrist and sometimes radiates upwards towards this part of the palm. Flexor carpi ulnaris tendinopathies. Patients have complained of pain when they pick things up like a bag or a dumbbell. And actually some patients complain of pain at that point when carrying tray. That is because there is a bit of ulnar deviation and flexion that needs to happen when carrying a tray. Flexor carpi ulnaris tendinopathies that I've seen in the past are from pulling on pinches, side pulls, or slopers repetitively, or badminton players who smash. Tendinopathies usually occur when you take a break, then get back to that exact same intensity as before the break, or just by increasing intensity of your activity very quickly. They usually point to this point here, the insertion of the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. Sometimes the pain or tingling travels slightly upwards to the pinky side of the palm. They will usually feel pain and stiffness when waking up in the morning, but then gets better throughout the day. It is usually painful when warming up, but then gets better during the activity, but then it hurts the moment they rest or stop doing the sport or activity. For example, a patient of mine who felt the pain when warming up for climbing, then didn't feel the pain at all when climbing, but then the second he came down from the climb or rested on the wall, his hand would start to shake and there will be a sharp ache in this point, sometimes radiating upwards to this part. However, it sometimes also feels weaker than normal. Treatment will start in phases. We will first start with a nice, gentle cross-friction massage in a lengthened position. If it is too sore, you can apply some ice first. Do this every morning for a few days. You can also put your wrist in a brace or tape it like this, so that the tendon is allowed to heal. Do this for a couple of weeks. Once or twice a day, you can take the brace or tape off to do your rehab exercises. I want you to start with the tendon in a shortened position with this exercise. Take a pole or a broomstick, hold the lighter end, it should feel like a 70% effort. Hold for about 10 seconds for 3 to 5 sets. Slowly lower it down. Repeat daily, but if it feels more than 3 out of 10 soreness the next day, do it the day after and decrease intensity slightly. Then progress to this exercise with the tendon in a lengthened position. In this position, slowly rock your body forward and towards the pinky side, pressing your pinky side of the palm into the floor, keeping your elbow straight and pressure your finger and wrist into the floor. Once your pain gets noticeably less in the mornings, you can start doing exercises that involve the entire kinetic chain. We can do tricep pull downs with a wrist ulna deviation, a kettlebell or dumbbell presses with ulna eccentrics. After a week of these, you can progress to push-ups or pull-ups if pain allows, and then some power push-ups pressing up fast and absorbing the landing. It might actually take six to eight weeks of recovery for you to actually go back to your spot 100%, but at about two weeks of resting, you can actually go back to your spot gradually. So if you're climbing at a 7A level where you're flashing or projecting a 7A or 7B, you can drop it down to about a 6C or a 6B route. Possibly avoiding any ulnar deviation and flexion pooling, side pulls, slopers or pinches that require you to pull up in this way, and avoiding pain intensity of more than 3 out of 10. Try this program out and let me know how it goes for you. Also, feel free to message me on Physio Evangelist on Instagram. Don't worry about it.